Well, the schedule's out and it's official. It's official. The NFL absolute Steelers. Okay, let's just call it what it is. Let's make it make sense. Because at the end of the day, there is no reason for our schedule to be as brutal as it is from week 11 through 18. It's brutal. And there's nothing you can do that will make me feel otherwise. And it's one of those things where I always say, my Steelers always win games they're supposed to lose, and they always lose games they're supposed to win. And so because of that, I don't know what to think. I like, as the schedule came out yesterday, I was like, this isn't looking good. We started getting schedule leaks. We started seeing certain things. And I was like, this isn't looking good. But you know what? I could be wrong. I could be overreacting. So I took a step back. I didn't pay attention. I let it all happen. I actually started cheating and looking at other team schedules. And then I finally took a minute to look at our schedule. And not only was it funny because it was absolutely brutal, but it was funny to see what other people are saying about the schedule. And it's always funny when other fans can look at your schedule and be like, ooh, that's tough. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's hard. Oh, that's tough. That is the position that my Steelers are in. We are in this weird place where we don't really even know who our quarterback is. We have a new offensive coordinator. You know, we're going through a lot of things right now. We're not really sure um, what we're doing. However, hey, here's a tough schedule, like figure it out, Pittsburgh. And so then I was like, you know, I pride myself on not reacting, taking a day, taking a deep breath, almost acting like as if it, what I'm seeing is not real. So I did that and I woke up this morning. You know what was on my news feed this morning? This beautiful article that I'm going to post for you. That's the first thing I saw this morning. And I thought, you know what? Our schedule is terrible. Our schedule is terrible. The NFL said we're tired of them not having a losing season. Like, let's see how they deal with this. <laughs> Here's your schedule. And it kind of is what it is. And honestly, at the end of the day, as a Steelers fan, we have goals, right? We want to make the playoffs. We want to win a playoff game. And that is where we're at. And so in order to get there, in order to achieve that goal, we're going to have to grind, work hard, and win football games. And that is what it is. I am not a person that gives excuses. That's I don't believe in that. So it's, it's go time. It's time for my team to put up or shut up. It just is what it is. The other thing I will say is I have been laughing because I think the Colorado Buffaloes have a very tough schedule. They play some of the toughest competition in the Big 12. They got a couple of breaks and aren't playing like Iowa State and things like that, but they have a really tough schedule. And I was looking at Texas's schedule and I was like, you know what? Okay, this isn't bad. And then I get the Steelers schedule. And this whole time I thought all year I was going to have to be worried about Colorado Buffaloes and their schedule. Absolutely not. The NFL said, hold my beer. Here is your schedule. And so I, it, it is what it is. And so here we are. And so I just wanted to make a video about what we're going to be dealing with because it's brutal. And let me tell you a little bit of why I think it's brutal based on my professional football opinion. Um, I'm going to throw it up and then I'm going to obviously look at my, my trusty iPad and just kind of talk about these things. So here we go. So we play the Falcons game one. Here's the thing about the Falcons and the thing about the schedule. A lot of the teams that we play minus a couple of teams are supposed to be really good this year. Um, not really good maybe, but they're supposed to be better than they were last year and they have the potential to win their divisions. So we play the Falcons. Great. I made a video about the Falcons being good this year. You can see it. I'll link it. I had blue hair and I was riding with the Falcons then and I still think they're going to be good. So we have the Falcons. The Broncos, okay, great. Send Wilson back to Denver, whatever. Um, the Chargers, which a lot of people think they're going to be more improved. We have the Colts, same Cowboys. We know how they are in the regular season. I say regular season because preseason, they forget how to play football. We have the Raiders, who I think will be good this year. Freaking Jets with Aaron Rodgers. The Giants, okay, cool. The Commanders, okay, cool. And then this is where it gets interesting. We have the Ravens. Okay, and then four days later on a Thursday, we play the Browns. Okay, so you're thinking like the Raider, the, the Ravens is already a tough game, followed by the Browns is brutal. So we have that, and then you're thinking, okay, cool, we get a break. It gets easier, right? Okay, let's talk about the gauntlet. After that, we have the Bengals, the Browns, then this is where it gets just stupid. We have the Eagles on December 15th, Four days later, if my math is correct, my math is not correct, looks like six days later. <laughs> um, then six days later, we play the Ravens. And then four days after that, we play the Chiefs. So in a span of 10 days, 
we have the Eagles, the Ravens, and the Chiefs. In a span of four, in a span of 10 games, in 10 days, in a span of 10 freaking days, we have the Eagles, the Ravens, and the Chiefs. Like, are you kidding me? And then we end the season with, oh, the Bengals. So the... <laughs> So if you look at our schedule, our last eight weeks of football is brutal. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you say, but the last eight weeks of this season is brutal. And if you know anything about the Steelers, usually we're kind of eh at the beginning and then in the middle, it's kind of blob. But by the end of the season, we've kind of figured it out. We pick it up a little bit. Guess what? This year it needs to be from go. This year in the preseason, we play the Texans and we play the Bills. And then after that, like it's time. It's time. We open up at the Falcons, at the Falcons. Um, and then it's time. It just kind of is what it is. So I, you know, I have so many thoughts about the schedule. It's tough. The last week, the last couple of weeks are tough. The last four weeks are brutal. When you add the previous, the four weeks before that, the, the last eight weeks is insane. <laughs> and so listen, this is what, this is what it is. I'm a big proponent of shutting up and figuring out. And right now my team needs to shut up and they need to figure it out and they need to go to work because that's all you can do. All you can do is get in there, grind it out and get better and go against these teams. And you know what? As I'm sitting here, I'm just thinking, F it. Steelers are going to the Super Bowl. You want to know why the Steelers are going to the Super Bowl? Because I said they're going to the Super Bowl. Because if they can make it through this schedule, if they can beat these teams, they're going to the Super Bowl. And when they go to the Super Bowl, I don't care who they play in the NFC because whoever they play in the NFC, they can beat them because their schedule is brutal. So I don't think they're going to see any better quarterbacks than what that schedule just said. I don't think it gets much better than Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes when healthy. All of those, if all of those quarterbacks are healthy and we see all of those quarterbacks, like, and then here comes Deshaun Watson, like, is this the year he bounces back? Like, I don't know, but let's, let's give him my Steelers and let's see if he bounces back against them. So you know what? At the end of the day, we're going to the Super Bowl. Screw it. We're going to the Super Bowl. You know what's funny? I actually looked online like a month ago and I saw that Vegas actually had the Steelers projected to go fourth. And the AFC North. And I thought, like, that's really strange that we're fourth. I know we have the toughest division in football. I know we have the best quarterbacks in football. I know the AFC North brand of football is different than any of these other conferences, divisions, whatever you call them. I know. However, WTF, <laughs> like, leave us alone. And then the schedule comes out, and now I'm like, oh, right. Everybody's in cahoots. Vegas knew what the schedule was going to be before it was released. They knew what was up, so they were like, screw it. They're going to finish last, but you know what? We have a we have a trick for them. We're going to the Super Bowl. The Pittsburgh Steelers are going to the Super Bowl 2024. Book it. And I don't care who we play in, I don't care who we play in the Super Bowl. We're beating them. I don't really care. And did I mention that we play Aaron Rodgers and the Jets and that defense? Oh my gosh, this is I don't even know what to do. Like, what do you do? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? So it is what it is. So the Steelers are going to the Super Bowl. So I don't know what the betting odds are, but go ahead and go please. That's I'm just kidding. I'm told I'm kidding. I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding. Because if we make it through this and we figure this out and we come out of this winning more games than I think that we can win, um, well, why would we why would I say we're not going to the Super Bowl? So book it. Steelers are going to the Super Bowl. And at the end of the day, I will say this. One of the reasons why I like Mike Tomlin, one of the reasons why I like the Steelers is because we never back down from a challenge. We're never out of a fight. We know how to win ugly and we know how to take care of business. Now, we might not always be the best team, but we're always the team that's working together in all three stages of the game, I um, mean, all three phases of the game, and we always find ways to win. So I just going, I'm just going to sit back and hope that this is the year that we continue that and we find ways to win and that Wilson and Fields, whoever it's going to be, does their thing and whoever has to come in and be the second guy, if that happens, that he comes in and he's ready to go. Did I mention that we play Aaron Rodgers, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes um, this year, Joe Burrow, all back to back? Like, did I mention that? Like, help us. Oh, and did I mention that we play the Eagles and Jalen Hurts? So yeah, so no big deal. Um, probably some of the league's best quarterbacks. Um, they're on our schedule. So we'll, you know, here we go. We have the Chargers with Harbaugh. So, you know, who knows how that quarterback will look. So here we are. Like, 
new season, new schedule. It's brutal. Um, I said, I keep saying the biggest, the one thing I want to have is my, uh, the, the Steelers win a week, the Texas, the Texas Longhorns win a week and Colorado win a week. And so maybe it will happen multiple weeks and I am not doing my team any favors and I am wrong. And my team is going to be ready and we're going to win and we're going to do all the things because we're going to the Super Bowl and this is our year. And if you don't believe that we're winning and we're going to the Super Bowl, get off the bandwagon because we don't need you. Okay. We need delusional fans right now. We need to rise up. We need to take control and we need to act like everything is fine. So if you want to join me and act like everything is fine, if you want to join me and act like we're going to win the Super Bowl, and even if you just want to send me some words of encouragement, comment below, let me know what you think. Otherwise, I don't really know what to do. I don't really know what to think. All I know is the NFL hates us. All I know is they don't want to see us be successful, and that's why we're going to be successful. So if you are a Steelers hater, that is your problem because you're going to have to watch us win. But the NFL, you know what I think about you. You know how I feel about you, and you just confirmed that you don't give a damn about player safety because you have my team playing some of the hardest games and the toughest games in the NFL at the end of the season, and that is is a confirmation that you don't care about safety. You All you care about is money. But you know what? We don't care. We're going to show you. We're going to be in the Super Bowl. And when we're in the Super Bowl, everybody come back to this video and say you were right. And then if we don't go to the Super Bowl, don't come back here. Act like I didn't say it. Don't keep this receipt, okay? I was just kidding. No, but seriously, um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm riding with my team. What can I say? I'm loyal. Those are my guys. I'm sticking beside them. I hope we have some upsets this year. And I hope we shock the world. And I hope we make the NFL regret making us play some of these teams. And I hope we play spoiler to some of these teams and some of these storylines that they're hoping to hype up. And I hope instead we have to talk about the Steelers. And I hope for all intents and purposes, both quarterbacks are ready to go and we are ready to show who we are and we're ready to take back the AFC North because the AFC North used to be ours. And this is the year we make make up some ground and we steal the AFC North and everybody is stunned. So here we go. Steeler Nation, we're here. Rise up. F everybody else. It's our time. We're coming for the crown and that's what we're going to do. So anyways, I'm going to get off my soapbox. I'm also going to go laugh and I'm also going to go think of all the ways this could go right because positivity matters and I am going to stay positive all season. And if you don't like me being positive, I don't care. But seriously, let me know what you think in the comments below.